Welcome to the Battlefield 2042 beta, a futuristic version of Battlefield 4 with lots of high-tech equipment such as this sentry gun. Very cool. Every single class now has an operator or specialist who has his or her own abilities. For instance, the medic operator carries a pistol that can heal teammates from a distance. The scout operator can overlook the battlefield with a drone to see where most enemies are located. And he also wears a pulse suit that lights up when enemies are near. But this robotic dog is defo the most exciting gadget I've seen so far. It's called a ranger drone and just like a dog he is man's best friend. He stays close to his master and fires at enemies and believe me this thing is very hard to kill. It takes a lot of bullets to put this puppy to sleep. But the most important word to describe this game is altitude. With wingsuits and parachutes you can surprise any enemy from above. And this brings an entire new level of threat to a franchise where you are used to simply checking around yourself at ground level. Roof campers are more exposed to losing their advantage with a single parachute drop. However, you might want to double check your landing spots in case you do not want to end up like these fellas and get shot right after touching ground. Another gadget to end the terror threat that roof campers pose is the grappling hook. We all know this thing from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and also from Titanfall 2 but it's a real advantage that you can climb a building in one second to surprise enemies. A very good idea in my opinion. In-field weapon customization is a brand new technique to upgrade your gun on the fly but it is accessed via the L1 button so you cannot use L1 for lethal equipment. Especially the impact of explosions and rockets are funnier than ever before. Such a laugh. And what's that? It looks like a giant woody. Battlefield always works with changing environments such as rain, blizzards, snowstorms and also gas explosions and leaky pipes. But in this game there will even be tornadoes and more results of global warming such as floods. Now if you play Battlefield you need to have good eyesight because it's hard to spot enemies. Accuracy is also a skill you need and that means you become a far better player than for example Call of Duty players who play on very small maps with overpowered guns. Opposed to Battlefield 5 you will need to pick up ammo from fallen foes to make sure that you can keep firing at enemies. There are no more points to pick up ammo and health. So camping is not a good idea to stay alive. Speaking of camping, if you go prone and aim downside you will not be able to move so you cannot crawl in any direction while you are aiming while laying on the ground. Proof that EA DICE pushes players towards active play instead of stealth mode. Another new thing is the red name that pops up above players heads to help spotting them and make the distinction between teammates and opponents. The hit feedback is gone, no more numbers to indicate how badly an enemy has been hit, it has been replaced with a health bar. Tactical camping to defend the flag is still a good idea but not if you do it like these morons. Waited too long, fail. Still a roof camper in 2042. Absolute fail. Try to be invisible. Fail. Try to mask your bad accuracy. Fail. Play too much COD. Fail. And going prone just because. Fail. So we can conclude that this new game is perfect. I see a big influence from Warzone with the tall buildings. I see a better version of AW and Titanfall 2. I see realistic guns and movement. I see bugs, of course, it's a beta, it's it's gonna have bugs, look at this crap right here, <laughs> lol. But I see a product that was made by people who care, who want to combine vehicles and soldiers on foot to give it that BF feeling of running people over, like here, goodbye dude. And I see something that is completely different from Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. Everyone has their opinion and mine is very simple. Buy this game because this game is good.
Will there be a premium pass? Probably not. Let's hope for a lot of extra maps during this game's life cycle. And I hope to see all of you in the futuristic fight. Thank you for watching. Peace.